Oh, my dog ate the poison dog food. One minute it's rat poisoning, the next minute it's, a, it's another substance. I, mean, I know that my cats didn't get into any toxins. There's no antifreeze in my house. They're indoor cats. They don't have, there's no kitchen where I live, right, in my house. There's a bathroom, the door's always closed, and I don't have chemicals. It's 2007, and we have a crisis on our hands. It's the pet food recall. Menu Foods discovered this problem back in December. And I read the, an article that said there was a voluntary recall on January 9th. And I want to know why it took till March for us to know about this. In January is when I went after the holidays to Petco. I took him with me. And they had a representative from Neutro there who was so informative on the product and how great it was and, you know, you couldn't do any better and, you know, so on and so forth. Knowing that this recall was, was happening. It is horrible. It's just, I think it's, it's horrendous. They were perfectly healthy and fine. They only eat one type of food and now they're not. People want someone to blame. They want action. They're very upset. They're very emotional and for good reason. The vets have been wonderful but we've spoken to so many of them. Everybody has a different take on the situation. They don't really know what they're dealing with. I have no idea what's in that food, how well it's regulated and then I think it'll be quite some time before I feel comfortable giving checkers dog food again. None of it's connecting. Not, there's, not, there's too many missing pieces to this story. And you know, it's just, I would not trust it again. I would not give my dog dog food again. I'm devastated because my mom has a cat in the same household. She's actually separated because she doesn't like other cats and she gets fancy feast and she's fine. And I pay triple what my mom pays to feed my cats thinking I'm giving them this great food that's high protein and I don't give them fish because my other vet's very cautious about mercury levels and they don't get dry food because they're boys and they shouldn't because they get kidney problems and it's devastating that that's what uh, ends up being poisonous. And she was sick and she was shunning her dog food and acting very lethargic. She was drinking a ton of water. The number one symptoms we've seen associated with the tainted foods is vomiting, decreased appetite, increased thirst and urination, and lethargy. But what we have to realize is those are symptoms of so many problems that we can't automatically assume that the food is the culprit. Like I feel right now that th this, this could have been avoided, okay? If I find out that there was an underlying issue and, you know, he was born with this, etc. But you'd have, it'd have to, they'd have to do a lot to convince me otherwise right now. I'm, I don't think anybody at this point, I actually feel that if you can try to convince me otherwise, that you'd be lying to me. If you're afraid that your pet has encountered this tainted food, the most important thing to do is go straight to your family veterinarian. A simple blood test should be able to tell you whether or not your pet has been affected. You know, the money that it's costing, I mean, I will do whatever I can to, you know, take care of it, but I just think it's disgusting. It's very expensive. Obviously, I wanted them to have the best care. I'm not, I can't just be like, you know, I can't afford to help them. I really just want them to be okay, though. <laughs> I don't want them to be sick at all. I'm so thankful she's alive. She's like the love of my life, this dog. I'm so thankful.